Hi traders, welcome to my live trading session today but with a twist. It's going to be a little bit more interactive, a little bit more educational. Let's try and see how it works and if you like it, please let me know here in the comments below. Also, if you didn't like it, I want to know. So please write here in the comments below. Take a look at NVIDIA. NVIDIA is a pre-market pick. I'm looking at the trend. I'm looking at the nice reversal right here at the top. Now I like NVIDIA and again, everything starts always pre-market time. I choose my trade, I plan my trade, I like Nvidia's reversal over here, it has a big upside green candle yesterday and now I'm following Nvidia along with other stocks as well. Now concentrating on Nvidia, it's the first one minute candle and I'm trying to figure out where Nvidia is going. So the first thing I noticed that it started with a gap up, came down, it closed the gap, which is quite interesting because it shows me that Nvidia is relatively strong. Now I'm going to freeze the chart and we'll take a look at the candle that is formed and make a decision as to where I should go long, if I should go long, where would be my stop loss and it's going to be kind of interactive session meaning I'm going to ask you questions, give you some options, think about them, you can write them down in the comments below or just you know follow my answer and see if you are right or wrong or maybe you have a different idea than mine which is of course okay now first let's take a look at this candle and look at the highs and the lows you can see that the numbers are written right over here and it shows you that the high is 161.21 and the lows is 160.48 therefore my next question is going to be assuming we're going to have a green candle where should be my entry point now should my entry point be over the highs 161.21 should it be over the whole number 161 I'm giving you a few options here that's the second option or should it be even below that 160.80 what do you think should be the entry point one two or three now I'll give you a few seconds to think about that and that's again assuming we're going to have a green candle and we expect Nvidia based on the daily and probably based on the help of the S&P 500 because the S&P is trending higher right now and I'm looking for an answer as to what would be my entry point. My choice will be number one over the highs. Over the highs I'm sure that the price is likely to spike up because it's very early there's still a lot of buyers and we just moved over the resistance line. A stock that is moving over a resistance line moving to a new high is popping up on a lot of screens, a lot of people are watching it, therefore I will expect to find a lot of buyers. You could have an argument that number two is the right entry point because we just moved over the whole number, but whole numbers during the first few minutes are not as established as whole numbers later. Normally people are selling at whole numbers, I do not expect it to be as strong as a whole number later this day but at the beginning of the trading session just a second one minute candle it's not going to be a lot of resistance therefore if it's going to move over the whole number or before that I don't see much of a difference and, and option number three it's just too close in my opinion uh, stocks volatility during the first one or two minutes is very very high it could just easily move over and then come down so I want to make sure it's over the highs and again I would normally do that during the first few minutes so it moved over the highs and assuming I bought it the first question I need to ask myself is where is my stop loss now of course I will have to determine my stop loss before I move into this trade. So the fact that I just decided upon my entry point just helps me to understand where my stop loss is going to be. So this is in fact my second question to you. Should my stop loss be under the whole number 161 assuming maybe the whole number is going to help me? Or should it be a little bit lower, 160.80, therefore I'm going to have approximately 40 to 50 cents stop loss or maybe it should be under the lows. If it's going to be under the lows, 160.48, it will mean that I'm going to have approximately 70 to 80 cents stop loss. So three choices again, one, two or three. What is your choice? Where do you think my stop loss should be? Relatively close, somewhere in the middle and under the lows. Well, my choice is very clear. My choice is under the lows.
We have to remember that during the first few minutes of the trading session, volatility is very, very high. Therefore, if I'm going to have a stop loss, which is close to my entry point, there's a good chance that the stock price will take me out and continue higher, even if Nvidia doesn't really want to come down. So having a stop under 161, again, whole numbers are not really established during the first few minutes is useless. Having a stop a little bit farther down is interesting, but not good enough in my opinion. The only real support area during the first few minutes is under the lows. Now, you can argue again that this is a big stop loss, 70 to 80 cents. That's right. But then I will have to calculate my quantity accordingly. So the best support will be under the lows, but then I will have to Again, think about the quantity I'm going to buy, assuming I have a max stop loss per trade. And certainly at the first few minutes, I need to take that into very careful consideration. Now that we have established a 70 cent stop loss, well, my opinion, I need to decide what will be my target price. How far should I go and what profit should I take based on the fact that I'm risking 70 cents? Now, what is your opinion about it? I'll give you again three options. Option number one is 70 cents. 70 cents will mean that you're looking for a one-to-one -one risk reward ratio. You're risking 70 cents and you're looking for a 70 cent profit. Option number two, you'll be looking for $1.4, which means a one-to-two risk reward. You will be risking 70 cents trying to get $1.4. And option number three, one to three. One to three means you will be risking 70 cents looking for over just over $2, $2.1 as a profit. Now there's an upside or a downside to each choice you make. And I would like to know what are the options, what is the option you chose. Please write it down in the comments below so that we can discuss it later. And I will tell you soon what is my choice. Well, my choice, is option number one, 70 cents. I'm looking for a one-to-one -one risk reward ratio. Now it is not wrong to look for more. One to two or one to three depends on the way you trade, it depends on your uh, trading system, it depends on a lot of things, but you also need to remember we're trading here during the first few minutes of the trading session and stocks are very, very volatile. So as fast as you can see that it came down 70 cents or more, it could easily move up 70 cents, but it could crash later. So I do not trust the market and I do not trust the stock I'm trading during the first few minutes. That's why I will urge you to consider a one-to-one -one risk reward during the first few minutes. So in my opinion, option number one, 70 cent target is the right option. Now we're moving back to the real live session and look at the way it behaved. It just spiked up over the highs. The resistance was the highs. It spiked up, just didn't give me a chance to move in. And I never ever chase a stock that is moving up. But the game is not over because when the stock is moving over the resistance line, which is the highs, sometimes, not all the time, it comes back down. It retests what was resistance and now become support. So I could wait for it to come down and assuming it will, I could join the trade at my planned entry or maybe a little bit above. So it is coming down right now, as you can see, it's coming down at this point, it's retesting the breakout point, supported, I'm buying right over here. My purchase price, as you can see, is a little bit higher, 161.36. Anyway, I am in, I am in the trade and I did not chase the price up and immediately it moves to a new high. So retests are very important place where you could join a trade that you missed. It's a little bit more dangerous. And my purchase price now is a little bit higher, 161.36, which means my stop loss is around 90 cents right now. So now let's get to my target, which is 90 cents or a little bit more, $1. I took my partial. I had to change my target price based on my entry. It does not always work the same way. I mean, sometimes a stock just can't give you more than you planned for. But in this case, Nvidia is very volatile. It just gave me the one point I was looking for, a little bit more than my anticipated 90 cents. And this trade is finished successfully. Now, let's go back a little bit and discuss what we've seen. When you 
make your decision about trading a stock, it normally should start pre-market time. Look at the trend, look at the daily chart. The daily determines if investors, long-term buyers will join you while the stock is moving higher. They are buying based on the daily. You want their help too. Intraday, you look for technical resistance, technical support. You want to buy over the highs during the first few minutes, it's very important. And then if you miss it, wait for the pullback. It's a little bit more dangerous. And then your target price could change according to your price, the price that you purchased, which in my case was a little bit higher than what I anticipated. Now, I hope you like this format. If you do, please let me know right here in the comments below. And if you didn't, let me know what I can do better. But anyway, let's have a discussion about this here. It's very important for me to understand if you liked it, if you didn't, if it helped you education-wise more than my regular videos. And just don't forget, it is right now Black Friday. It's the best ever price we ever had. You can join us for as low as $290 for our intro package, which comes with all the education you need and a funded $14,000 trading account, which you can start trading immediately and join me live in my trading room where I'm calling live every day, all the picks and everything I do and talking about the same thing we just discussed here in this video. So plenty of links right here below. Please let me know. And don't forget, trading is extremely hard. Be extremely careful. Most traders do lose money. So be careful. Thank you very much for watching this video. And I'll see you in my next video.